Hello and welcome! In today's video we are going over another great money method in Crowns Rimmel 7. So for this build we are doing an 800pp build for the Mercedes CLK LM. Since I just reviewed this car too, it's only right that we actually do a money build. So let's get straight into it. Now these are the things that you are going to need from the tuning shop. It isn't much because there isn't actually much you can actually add on to it. So firstly you need racing hard tires the medium rpm turbocharger as well as the manual racing transmission now i know the manual transmission is going to be a bit slower when it comes to shifting compared to the racing transmission however it does decrease our performance points level and that is what is going to be key to getting us to 800 performance points and also our balance now that we have all of the parts let's head into the tuning now we're going to start off with tires the only tires you need are racing hards then we're going to come down to suspension. So suspension differential as well as your torque vector and differential does not affect your performance points rating. We don't even need to worry about torque vectoring because this car is real wheel drive. So if you just want a good solid setup, follow these settings. So body height adjustments is going to be 55 in the front, 65 in the rear. anti roll bar is going to be both 10 in the front and the rear. Dampening ratio expansion is going to be 50 in the front, 50 in the rear. Dampening ratio compression is going to be 40 in the front, 40 in the rear. Natural frequency is going to be 4.80 in the front, 4.90 in the rear. Negative camber angle is going to be 2.5 in the front and 2.0 in the rear. Toe angle is going to be 0 0.10 in the front going outward and then 0 0.20 going inward for the rear. Now for your differential, initial torque is going to be 15, acceleration sensitivity 20 and braking sensitivity 40. Now for downforce is going to be 600 in the front, 900 in the rear. Your ECU is going to be set to 96%, then your ballast to 30, your ballast positioning negative 49. Now power restrictor, you don't need to even purchase one so that's going to stay 100. The fully customizable manual transmission is going to be set to 310. We do not touch any manual adjustments. Now on the next page, we only need to add our medium RPM turbocharger. So with the tune now done, it's time to get to the event. Now we're going to head on over to World Maps Europe and on the bottom half of the screen, you're going to see Sardinia Road Track. That is where we're going to go and use the WTC 800. Now, this vehicle is actually also capable to do the WTC 800 around Spa. Now, I didn't do it in this video, but the same tune is also compatible with that event. Now, jumping into the events, I actually did two separate methods. So, one is going to be a single stop method and the second is going to be a two stop method. Starting off with the single stop method. So, for this, it's quite simple. Set your car over to fuel map level 6. Because of the medium RPM turbocharger, the car doesn't really feel like it has much power actually restricted. The car still feels very powerful and racing the opponents on the hardest difficulty, you can see that, okay, the car is able to just run from the opponents. So this is going to make the race super easy. Now the biggest thing you actually need to worry about is the traffic. Also, to avoid losing your clean race bonus, for whatever reason, if one of the air have an accident, do not overtake under a yellow flag because this will not give you your clean race bonus. Otherwise, if you want to bash into the AI, it's up to you. If by causing damage to your vehicle, it slows your car down and it will slow your time. Now, take your time, get used to how the vehicle feels and generally just have fun. So, try and keep pushing your car as hard as possible. Keep the car on fuel map 6 and this will take you all the way to lap 9. Now, at the end of lap 9 is when you are going to come in for your first and only pit stop. Because we are actually on racing hards, you aren't going to change it. So we are only coming in for fuel. And as you can see where the marker is placed, that is where you need to fill up. Now, if you want to change over to fuel map level 1, well, you want to just fill pass a marker to make sure, okay, you have extra fuel to burn. Now, with this video on screen now, 
I just kept the car in fuel map 6. I did not change it even though after doing this you can set the car to fuel map level 1 and save yourself a whole lot of time because even with the car being on fuel map level 1 you are still guaranteed to make it to the end. So by changing from fuel map 6 to fuel map level 1 you are going to save about 3 seconds per lap which means overall you are going to save what? You are going to save about 15 seconds and at the end of the event you'll see that that will actually bring your time down to about 25 minutes exactly and this is with my event not being even clean I went into walls, I collided with cars I, it was nowhere near clean driving but even with my poor driving skills I still managed to get the clean race bonus now for method 2 we are gonna go as try hard as possible we are gonna run the car on fuel map level 1 now with the car being on fuel map level 1 this is the most power we can actually get out of the vehicle and in this video I actually didn't have the car set to 310 km per hour so that means the car is actually redlining coming down the straightway doing just about 306 km per hour but by stretching the gears out a little bit more you should not run into the same issue and immediately with the car being set to fuel map 1 compared to the first method you can see how many cars we actually overtake a lot sooner compared to the first method now that does mean you are gonna run into traffic you're gonna be pumping into cars but as I said try to avoid causing damage to your vehicle because that will just slow you down and completely ruin the time now you do need to be careful because the car handles completely different to when the car is on fuel map 6 and if you misjudge your braking points you're gonna run wide it's just not gonna be a very good time and yes watch out for the AI because the AI can spin out now you're just gonna wanna keep pushing your car as hard as possible your first fuel stop will be at the end of lap number 5 and your second fuel stop will be at the end of lap number 10 now for both fuel stops you are not gonna change your tires you are only gonna focus on your fuel so at the end of lap 10 you can actually fuel up and just a little bit over the marker and you will make it to the end but for the first fuel stop you're gonna have to fill the car up to 100% now since we are at Sardinia it is notorious for the AI coming full speed into you when you are trying to leave your pits so just always try and look back or look at your rear view mirror on the top of the screen so in conclusion method 2 is slightly faster compared to method 1 but it really is a similar overall time for both methods so it doesn't matter which one you use if you get bored of method 1 use method 2 it really just varies depending on the person but overall what i think would be the best is do method 1 but after you refuel on the ninth lap well set your car over to fuel map level 1 and just go a whole lot faster it's still gonna work out to roughly the same time but the car is just gonna feel a lot more powerful so I would mix both methods in just for a third method but that's just really up to you which one you wanna follow so both methods work incredibly well you're gonna run about a 25 minute time with these vehicles if you do clean races that is gonna be sub 25 minutes easy so I hope you guys do go and enjoy this this was the 800 performance points build for the Mercedes CLK LM if you want to see more great ways to make money in Grand Cinema 7, click the video on screen right now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.